Hey Leos, welcome to the Crow Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we are going to do your second half of January general reading. A couple notes, these messages may or may not be for you, so always use discernment around that. And also because time is fluid, it's changeable. All right, let's get right into it. Uh, we're gonna start off with some animal energy here for your second half of January, and then we'll get right into the tarot. All right, let's do it. All right, we got the fish here, people. <laughs> we got the fish here, yes we do. Okay, so what I'm getting off of this um, right off the bat here is, you know, a fish is a very busy energy, okay? You don't really see fish, you know, like lions. Let's talk about, you know, your sign here. Like lions, you can see them, you know, basking in the sun on a plane, just chilling and, you know, talking to his friends or whatever, and just like basking in the sun. Like lions can be very active, but they can also be very still, right? Fish, they ain't chilling nowhere. They're always going, right? They're always just swimming, right? I feel like it's gonna be a very active time for you, and I did get that in your meditation as well. It's gonna be a very active time, um, but you know, it's a fertile time too, as represented by the fish here as well. Um, but this is a very auspicious start. Um, you know, one thing that the fish does advise us to uh, keep a, uh, <laughs> I was gonna say a fin, keep a fin out for, but keep an eye out for, is making sure that the decisions that you make are not influenced by the opinions or patterns or behaviors of others, okay? But let's get right into it here. Let's see, what do my Leos need to know for the second half of January? What's going on with y'all? What's going on with my Leos? I love you guys, by the way. You guys have been super supportive um, with the videos. I love you guys. Stop, Leos. I mean, overachiever much? Starting out with the Ace of Cups? <laughs> you know what they're telling you with this? This is really cool. Do you remember what I just said about making sure that your, your action that you take, even your thoughts, your interactions, are of your own design and accord as opposed to the thoughts and opinions um, or directives of others? Hold on, tea break. Yeah, I feel like this is, you know... <clears throat> We will pull more cards before I speak too much on this, but the Ace of Cups for me can be about, you know, self-love, but it's also about satisfaction, that feeling that you get when you accomplish something on your own and you stand in your power and your ground around something, which is a gorgeous start. Let's see what else is going on for my Leos. What's up? What's up? What else is going on for y'all? Do Leos need to know for the second half of January, please and thank you. Oh, buddy. All right, y'all. We got the hanged man. Look at that little bat. <laughs> Look at that little bat. Yeah, so this is about taking time out to flip our perspective and see things differently, which is, oh my God, it's just so beautiful the way that this is lining up for y'all. Remember how I said that this is about things that you accomplish on your own, making sure that your decisions are coming from, from you and are about and for you? I feel like that's what the hangman is saying here too. And, and in order, if, if a lot of other people are giving you their opinions, solicited or not, okay, but if a lot of people are giving you opinions or advice or directives around things, you may need to take a little time out, go inside and you know, this isn't the hermit card, it's the hanged man. Go inside to flip your perspective and filter out your thoughts and desires from others around you. That's what this is all about. What else? What else is going on for my Leos? What else Leos need to know? Second half of January, please and thank you. Oh, suki suki. We got the Empress. Yes, Empress. <laughs> I love this. Yes, this is standing in your power and notice, you know, 
the empress <laughs> is on a throne all her own, okay? And she feels really good about it. This is also what they're telling me too, is this represents too in this context, um, being really happy, being on your own and alone too, and really cherishing that time. Because I know as Leos, um, y'all can be very sociable creatures when you're in alignment, okay? But this is really about standing in your power in a rebirth, because the empress, um, you know, represents pregnancy. <gasps> And the fish is all about fertility and pregnancy as well. What I'm getting about it in this context, that might resonate for a few of you, but what I'm getting um, overall for this context is there is going to be such a beautiful birth of a confidence within you when you do let yourself be your own counsel. Instead of asking others or taking what others say to heart, be your own counsel because that is where the gold is. That's where it is. But this is all about fertility and the birth of new things. That's what it is. That's just what it is. Let's get some more. What else is going on for Leo? Ooh, that just came right out. Okay, y'all. So we got the tower. So this is gorgeous in this context because there might be people around you when you do take the time to be the hanged man and come out of it with you. You, you know, it's like that scene in the courtroom where it's like, you know, the person, the judge goes, um, and who will be representing you as your counsel today? And the person goes, I'll be representing myself. And everyone's like, oh, like hold for gasp, hold for reaction. You know what I mean? But I feel like that's what this is. I feel like other people might look at you a little askew, might have a little arched eyebrow towards you when you do step back and go, especially if you're the kind of person who goes to other people, like friends, family, whatever, for their opinions and their take on things. I really see you being your own best counsel here, and there might be people around you. This could be twofold. There can be people around you when you do just go, you know what, I don't need the advice right now. Thank you so much, but I'm going to be my own counsel. They might be like, what? Excuse? You know, if one of y'all said that to your, you know, your mama or something, they go, what would you just say to me? <laughs> you could do it nicely, but seriously, you've got to be your own best counsel here. And there's, there's, there's a big reason for that. I just feel it. But this could also indicate that maybe it's a tower moment that leads you to this place where you do need to seek your own counsel and be the hanged man so that you can emerge the empress and feel really good about it too. But this could have a lot to do with love as well. I just got to speak on it because we got the Empress, we got the Ace of Cups here. So this could very much be about either a job that you love and or a person that you love, okay? But there's, there's a lot in here about, um, you know, like I said, being your own counsel. What else? What else is going on for Leo? For second half of January. What's going on with my Leos, my lovely lions? Ooh, hello. Okay. Okay, guys, three of swords. Listen, this is making, okay. Yeah, the story is unfolding. Okay, all right. I'm so sorry about that noise outside. What are you gonna do? She lives in a major city. Um, okay, so three of swords here. Yeah, remember when I said that this could really be about something or someone that you love. Yeah, it does feel like there's some heart pain here. Um, and I do feel like the best way to get out of it is not talking to other people, but consulting yourself. But look at how this lines up. Tower and the Three of Swords. This is something that you can get out of on your own. Let me say that again. <laughs> this is something that you can get out of on your own. Okay, it's not that there's anything wrong with taking other people's advice. It's just in this on this particular subject for which you will need advice, the best advice is going to come from you. You may see what I mean if you do ask other people for their opinion, and you're going to notice this too. If you ask someone for your opinion, right, and what they tell you doesn't quite resonate, you're like, oh, I don't know. So then you ask someone else, and then you ask someone else, and then you ask someone else, just waiting to hear what you feel to be true. That's what this is. Listen, I'm also getting, there could be something here involving a romantic partner and or interest that kind of uh, throws you into this tower moment or the tower moment is the cause of this here leading to the hanged man, the need to go inside and flip your perspective about something. But there is a disappointment here regarding love and love in all its forms. 
romantic love, friendship love, you know, platonic love, family love, but there is disappointment around this and there is some heart pain here. But I really get the feeling that it's a transient effect. I do not feel like this is going to last long. I don't. I don't feel like this is like an ongoing saga. It's not like, you know, Game of Thrones, see you again in another two years when we, you know, <laughs> start airing the show again. I don't, I, oh, oh, duh. Transient like the fish. Yeah, I think it's gonna come and go quickly, this this tower, this, this three of swords situation here. Okay. Um, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I wanna get a clarifier on this Ace of Cups, actually. Can I get a clarifier on this Ace of Cups, please, and thank you? <gasps> oh my God, almost landed in my tea. Oh, I'm obsessed. The Fool, this is about loving like you've never known hurt before. This is about embracing the unknown, being okay that you don't know what lies at the end of a given journey, dynamic, or, or what have you. Yes, honey, the fact that this came out for, for Ace of Cups, and this is, you know, this is about being solitary too because the fool, you know, he's got that little dog. <laughs> but for the most part, he's on his own. And yeah, this is where the, the real gift is gonna lie. This is all about, if you can, where, where is that car? Get over here. If you can flip your perspective and be the hanged man about it, that is going to get you to a place where like you are like lovingly and beautifully the fool, where you can just, I'm hearing, let things roll off your back. Like the fish, you know what I mean? Just let it roll right off your back and that is gonna be the best thing for you. And again, I just wanna say this to anyone who may be like watching this and going like, oh my God, I don't want this to happen, what's going on? It's a transient effect, okay? And it's going to result in a new birth of you, a new version of you, but most importantly, a new perspective. Because I feel like you guys are gonna be in need of a new perspective, and that's just what I'm getting. Um, let's get an oracle for y'all. Let's get an oracle for my Leos. Oracle for my Leos here. Yes, Leos. Okay, two for one. <laughs> two for one at the right aid, everybody. <laughs> we got stone people vigilance and clouds shape shifting. I'm freaking out at how beautifully this is mirroring everything that we've talked about here. So listen, where is where the heck is that hangman? Listen, the hanged man is all about shape shifting, right? It's about flipping that perspective to see things from a different angle, right? It's like in, um, if anyone like does yoga, like that's why they have you go upside down on that headstand because it's a, it's a rush of blood to the head, right? Hey, Coldplay, any Coldplay fans? <laughs> but it, it does result in a beautiful and different way of perceiving and looking at things that we can't necessarily see when we're looking at it right side up or straight, straight on, right? So that's what this is about for me. And then also Stone People Vigilance, do you remember what I said about other people around you giving their opinions or, or putting in their two cents about what you are or should be doing or what you're not and or should not be doing? Stay vigilant, be your own best counsel. That is all there is, okay? With that being said, my lovely Leos, I, you know, I hope this resonated with you and was of some help. Um, you know, if it didn't, it was, please let me know in the comments below. I love that stuff. Please don't forget to like and, and subscribe and all that good, good. Um, also, if this did resonate with you, I know this, you know, it's not a super long video. If it did resonate and you want some more info around it, I am available for personal readings. All that info is in the about me section. And again, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for being you and be well until next time.